High pressure processing has been used in the food industry for years, but in the past two to three years, the interest by the food industry has increased dramatically. With high pressure processing, ready to eat food in its final packaging is submerged in water and subjected to extreme pressures up to 87,000 psi. Pressure that intense is more than six times the pressure at the deepest part of the ocean. It only takes a minute or two at those extreme pressures to inactivate spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms. The process safeguards food for consumers and creates a longer shelf life product that still retains the raw characteristics of the food. Consumers may not realize it, but there's quite a few foods in the grocery store that are high pressure processed, and in the future those numbers are dramatically going to increase. The food industry is adapting this very rapidly because it retains the fresh-like character of the food products, as well as guaranteeing the safety of the product by inactivating the microorganisms such as pathogens. validation studies that will be performed here will be the scientific basis that the regulators will actually use in determining whether it's a safe product. Then from a food industry perspective, they will evaluate whether it retains the qualities and characteristics of fresh product that they desire. At Cornell University, we have a long-standing history of working very closely with the food industry and providing assistance. This is yet another way that we're going to provide assistance for those food industries that are going to be using high-pressure products processing to produce a high quality and safe product for consumers.